So I had one of my female followers ask me for advice and she wanted to know signs to let him go. Well, beautiful ladies, first and foremost, just understand letting somebody go is not the easiest thing. And I truly believe that, you know, you shouldn't give up on anybody if they have, you know, good qualities that fit you, they make you happy. But if you're in a stage where you're asking people for advice, um, you're always crying, you're always angry, you're never in a good mood, you feel way more insecure in a relationship than being single, it's time to pack it up. So one of the signs that I think you should be looking out for, if you guys are always arguing, you need to go. If you go to that person and try to communicate with him and he makes it an argument or he tells you you're naggy, even though you're not yelling, you're not screaming, you're just trying to get down to the problem. Um, if he's pushing you away a lot, you need to go. If you are the one constantly making plans, constantly chasing him, constantly doing things, and he is not reciprocating the energy, you need to go. The reason why is because men who are masculine are natural givers and are natural protectors. So they are going to chase you, try to work things out with you, try to fix things with you. Men understand how to communicate. Little boys do not. So if he's going to sit there and make things worse by not talking to you after you've talked to him multiple times, hey, you know, let's work things out and he doesn't want to do that, it's time to go. Now, I understand there are some men with avoid attachment styles and some men who do not know how to communicate, but that's the whole point of you sitting him down, telling him your needs and wants, and if he does not meet those or even try, you got to go because he does not have what? Good active listening skills. And if somebody doesn't listen to what's hurting you and they keep doing the same very thing that's making you literally sad, what is that does that show somebody they care about you no they're watching you cry they're watching you be in shambles and they don't give a fuck so don't be in that type of relationship another sign to let a man go if he's complimenting other people and is so nice to other people but treats you like crap you need to let him go that man is not into you if that man destroys you more than he uplifts you you need to let him go. If you don't have a person that's your safe space, your protector, you're going to become masculine and you're going to become a destructive woman because you don't feel safe. You don't feel encouraged. You don't feel like somebody's in your corner, especially really think about this. If you're the type of woman who has no family, no friends, and you have a man always putting you down, oh, you're stupid. You're uneducated. You're dumb. Why do you have to do that? He doesn't need to shame you to get his point across. You guys are supposed to pour into one another in a healthy manner. If he is putting you down, belittling you, making fun of you, but can talk to everybody so nice, uplift, uplift his homeboys, uplift everybody around him, he doesn't like you. And it's time for you to pack your bags and you need to go, mama. Now, please hear me out, ladies, because I know a lot of you guys love jealousy. A lot of you guys think that jealousy is a form of love and he cares. Now, there's different forms of jealousy. I'm going to give you an example. A man can tell you, Oh, that guy was looking at you, huh? But you're mine. And you guys can laugh it off. Now, if he's calling you a fucking whore, bitch, all this stuff. Oh, yeah, you staring at him? You want him, huh? You're over accusing, over dramatic, putting you down. You got to go. Men who are jealous and territorial in a bad way are dangerous. And we see women getting unalived all the time. You got to be very mindful of the men you get with. It's okay to have cute, playful jealousy. And this goes for men and women. But when you have a partner who's getting mad at you for other people liking you, red flags time to pack it up baby girl now you might not think this is that big of a deal but if you guys happen to get in an argument how does he talk to you during those arguments is he putting you down is he being disrespectful the moment he starts disrespecting you and calling you out of your name you have got to pack it up and another thing if he's ever mad at you and he's driving and he's driving 120 140 you need to leave that man is going to put you in danger at all costs and not care about your safety not even his own that's a dangerous man and that's something you do not want. You want a man to protect you from others. You shouldn't have to worry about getting protection from him. Be very mindful of the men you get with. Now, my favorite one of all, don't ever be with a man that, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Stop being a crybaby. Come on, you're being dramatic. Don't ever be with somebody like that. Whatever relationship you get in, if somebody's trying to minimize how you feel, out. You gotta go. Just because... You calling me a B word doesn't hurt you if I call you that doesn't mean it doesn't destroy me. We're two different human beings. We grew up different. You don't know if I've been through abuse. You don't know if my whole life people have shamed me. You don't know what I've gone through. If I don't want to be spoken to like a dog or like a piece of caca and I want to be treated right, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you tell somebody or your partner, whoever, hey, please don't talk to me like that. Oh, you're a crybaby. Oh, you're dramatic. You need to go. Like I said, do not tolerate any forms of disrespect. Remember, the more you tolerate, the more people think they can ice skate you tell people how to treat you 
You teach people what you want to be told, how to be talked to. You might not think it's true, but if you keep allowing somebody to call you out of your name and you don't say anything, what do you think they're going to do next? It's only going to get worse. Take care of yourself, ladies. Please remember, if you see these signs, pack it up, baby. It's going to hurt, but you got to go and find somebody better or, you know, build yourself up to where you feel confident enough to not let anybody treat you like this.